everyone. When a point AB lies on the line Y equals negative 4 thirds X and our A is negative, um, our angle is in standard position with terminal ray OP, where O is the origin. We're going to find the value of sine of pi divided by 2 plus theta minus cosine of pi divided by 2 plus theta. So let's draw a little picture of this. Uh, let's see. I'll draw um, this right here. All right. Um, this is your line. Uh, remember y equals negative 4 thirds x. That means your y is negative 4. So you go up. Uh, well, let's just go up for 1, 2, 3, 4. And we'll have 3 here. 1, 2, 3. So this is negative 3, and this is 4. This is your origin, and so there's your line here, up 4 over 3. should scoot it over a little bit, so it's something like that. It goes through the origin. So this is your P, A, B. All right, so your A is like negative 3, and your B is like 4. We're in quadrant two here. All right, this is your angle here. And then uh, let's see anything else. There's your origin. I think we got everything. Let's uh, draw these uh, little box here. All right. So basically, um, since it's, uh, this right here is a point on this line, that means our A is negative and our B is positive, and that means we're in quadrant 2. We went over that. So let's look and see what tan of theta is. So we have tan of theta is going to be negative 4 thirds, because that is your Y divided by X. All right, and that's what your slope is. Your slope is always your uh, change in Y divided by change in X. So that's your tan. Therefore, your sine of theta is going to be your negative, uh, uh, let's see, the negative goes with the x. Let's, so let's clear that up. So your uh, x is negative. All right, so your sine is going to be 4 divided by 5 because your radius here is going to be 5. Well, I'm just using my Pythagorean triples here, 3, 4, 5. All right, and therefore your cosine of theta is going to be negative 3 divided by 5. All right, so now all we have to do is fill in this formula here. We're going to use these reference angles here. All right, so basically uh, sine of theta, uh, pi divided by 2 plus theta is right here. That equals cosine. Um, so this is going to be cosine of theta. Then we're going to have uh, minus. Now this one right here is negative sine. So that's going to be minus sine of theta. So in, we end up getting cosine of theta plus sine of theta. Now cosine of theta was negative three-fifths. And sine of theta was four-fifths. So our final value is going to be 1 divided by 5. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.